up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what the CompTS Security Plus certification is all about in case you plan on getting this in your professional life. So let's get into it. Every time you turn around, there's another data breach in the news, another company has been hacked, another personal account compromised, and behind the scenes, there's a growing demand for cybersecurity professionals to stop the madness. So enter the CompTIA Security Plus certification. So if you've been considering a career in tech, especially in cybersecurity, then you've probably heard this name before. It's one of those certs that keeps popping up on job listings, Reddit threads, and YouTube videos. What exactly is it? Why is it such a big deal? And what types of jobs can you actually get with it? I'm going to explain all of that to you. So let's go. Let's start with the basics. The CompTIA Security Plus, this is a vendor neutral entry level cybersecurity certification offered by CompTIA, which stands for Computing Technology Industry Association. And it was designed for people who want to prove they have the skills to work in cybersecurity. Now, you don't need to be a hacking genius or have a degree in computer science to earn it, but you do need to understand the foundations of security when it comes to things like threats and vulnerabilities, network security, identity and access management, risk management, cryptography, incident response, and governance and compliance. So in short, Security Plus teaches you how to protect systems, networks, and data from cyber threats, and how to respond if things go wrong. Next, let's talk about exactly what's on the exam. So the CompTIA Security Plus certification exam focuses on real world security skills, and it tests your ability to identify, assess, and respond to security incidents. So here's a high level breakdown of the exam objectives. The first objective is general security concepts. And this is where you're gonna learn about foundational knowledge of threats, vulnerabilities, threat actors, and security roles. Then you got threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, and you're gonna learn about common attacks, malware, secure configurations, and patching strategies. You got security architecture. You're going to learn about secure network and system designs, segmentation, zero trust, and cloud security. You have security operations. You're going to learn about incident response, disaster recovery, logging, monitoring, and security tools. And you have security program management and oversight. And this is we're going to learn about governance, risk, compliance, and policies. And also, the exam is 90 minutes long with a maximum of 90 questions, and you're gonna to need to score a 750 out of 900 to pass. Now, our next question is exactly who should take this exam? Well, Security Plus is designed for aspiring cybersecurity professionals, IT pros looking to pivot into security, help desk and support techs wanting to level up, military and government personnel, especially those needing DOD 8570 compliance, or basically anyone who wants a strong, respected entry point into the cybersecurity field. So CompTIA recommends that you have around two years of IT experience, preferably with some focus on security before taking the exam, but that's just a recommendation. That is not a requirement. There are plenty of people who study hard, use hands-on labs and video courses, and they go out there to successfully pass this exam with little or no on-the-job experience. All right, so exactly why is this certification so popular? Well, let me go ahead and break it down. One, it's globally recognized. So Security Plus is one of the most well-known cybersecurity certifications in the world. And employers know it, HR systems, they recognize it, and recruiters, they search for it. So having it on your resume is like saying, hey, I speak the language of cybersecurity and I have the proof. Another reason is it's vendor neutral. So unlike certifications that are tied to specific products like Cisco, Microsoft, or Palo Alto, Security Plus is vendor neutral. That means you're learning core concepts that apply to any environment, whether it's cloud, on-prem, hybrid, you name it. And this gives you flexibility in your career and a strong foundation to build upon. Also, it's DOD approved. So if you're looking to work in a government or military related IT job, then Security Plus is golden. It's approved by the U.S. Department of Defense as a baseline certification for many cybersecurity roles. And if you want to work as an information assurance technician or analyst, for example, it may be required by law. Also, 
It's a launch pad. So Security Plus is the perfect springboard for higher level certifications like the cybersecurity analyst, the advanced security practitioner, the certified ethical hacker, the CISSP, and the GSEC or GCI8 certifications from SANS. Also, this certification helps you build confidence, credibility, and real skills. So when you tackle those tougher exams later, you know you will be ready. All right, so let's get to the good part. What types of jobs can you get with a CompTIA Security Plus certification? Here are some of the common job roles where Security Plus is either required or highly valued. First is that of a security analyst. And this person basically monitors networks for threats, investigates suspicious activity, responds to incidents, work with SIEM tools, firewalls, and logs. And they tend to make about seventy to $95,000 a year. You also have an information security specialist. This person helps organizations develop and implement security policies, ensure compliance with regulations. And this person works with teams to secure data and systems, and they tend to make about sixty-five to 90000 a year. You also have what is called a SOC analyst or a security operations center analyst. And these people basically sit in the digital war room of a company. They watch for alerts and threat intel, and they also investigate and escalate issues in real time, and they tend to make an average average salary of about sixty to eighty five thousand dollars. You also have what is called an IT auditor and these people audit networks, systems and practices. They ensure security standards and best practices are being followed and they also report findings to compliance officers and they tend to make about seventy five to one hundred thousand dollars. You also have what is called a system administrator, especially those that have a focus on security. And they maintain and secure servers, patch systems, and configure access controls. And they tend to make about sixty to 85000 You also have what is called a risk analyst or compliance analyst. And they identify risks to businesses. They recommend ways to reduce or manage those risks. And they ensure compliance with laws like GDPR and HIPAA. And they tend to make about seventy to $95,000. And then you also have what is called a penetration test. Tester. And these people test networks and applications for vulnerabilities. They try to ethically hack systems and report what they find. And this role typically needs more advanced certifications, but Security Plus is a solid prerequisite. And they tend to average about eighty to one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Now, as a side note, you want to keep this in mind. Even job titles like help desk technician or desktop support, they're starting to list Security Plus as a preferred certification because of how security focused the tech world has become. Come. All right. So moving on, let's talk about the types of companies that are hiring. So companies across nearly every industry are on the hunt for cybersecurity talent. And these include government agencies, defense contractors, tech giants, healthcare organizations, financial institutions, insurance companies, educational institutions, and retail and e-commerce companies. So basically any company with a network, and that's pretty much all of them, need someone who understands cyber security. All right, next, let's talk about exactly how hard is the Security Plus exam. So Security Plus, this isn't a walk in the park, but it's definitely passable with the right preparation. So here's what makes it challenging. First, it covers a wide range of topics. Also, you're going to get multiple choice and performance based questions, and it demands critical thinking and not just memorization. But here's what makes it manageable. There are tons of resources out there, everything from books and videos to courses, the labs. You don't need coding or deep technical skills to pass the certification, and it is designed to be an entry level certification. So if you're willing to put in four to eight weeks of solid study time, then you can pass this even as a beginner. All right, so let's talk about exactly how do you prepare for the Security Plus. So here's a quick blueprint. First, you want to download the official objectives, and you can find those on CompTIA's website, and they are free. And these objectives are your blueprint, so do not skip it. You want to use multiple learning resources. So there are plenty of books on Amazon that you can buy. You can check out my video courses by clicking my playlist tab to see the latest and greatest Security Plus course. There are practice exams all over the place, and there are various labs. Labs you can try like CompTIA Cert Master Labs. You can also join a study group or a Discord server where you'll learn faster because you'll have others to bounce ideas off of and ask questions. You also want to take a lot of practice exams and you want to aim to consistently score 80% or higher on these practice tests before taking the real thing. And then once you do all of that, you want to go out there and schedule the exam when you're ready. So don't drag it out forever. And once you're confident, schedule it and commit to taking the test. 
All right. So let's talk about the return on investment. Is this certification worth it? Well, the CompTIA Security Plus exam, this thing costs $425 at the time of the recording of this video. Now, if you want to get the exam voucher at a cheaper price, go visit my website. I do sell discounted exam vouchers there. Now, let's go ahead and do some quick math. So let's say you land a cybersecurity job earning $65,000 to $85,000 per year. That $425 exam fee is a tiny investment compared to the return. And remember, Security Plus isn't just a piece of paper. This is a door opener because it helps you stand out in job interviews. It can help you get past resume filters. It can help you negotiate a higher salary, and it can also lay a foundation for more advanced certifications. So in my personal opinion, I will say, yes, it is definitely worth getting if you are serious about getting into IT and cybersecurity. All right, so let me wrap all this up. If you're serious about getting into cybersecurity or you're already in IT and you want to pivot, the CompTIA Security Plus is one of the smartest moves that you can make. Why? Well, it's affordable, it's respected, it's globally recognized, it's beginner friendly, and it's a launching pad for bigger opportunities. Sure, it's going to take some time to study and focus, but if you put in the work, the certification could be the very thing that transforms your career. So if you're still on the fence, then let me leave you with this. Security Plus isn't just about passing the exam. It's about joining the front lines of one of the most important battles of our digital age. It's your way of saying, hey, I want to protect people. I want to make tech safer and I'm ready to get started. So if that sounds like you, then stop procrastinating. Go out there and crack open a book. Go visit my playlist and start watching my videos. Schedule your exam and go pass that certification.